What's up, everybody? Ben Reza here for Odd uh, Chopper. I'm back. It is Wednesday, March 27th, and no, the tournament starts tomorrow. We still have one more day. Baseball also starts tomorrow, and we've got some exciting news there. But in the meantime, put a bet on the board. That's what I do every morning here on this specific video. It's not all we do at Odd uh, Chopper. Take a look around this very channel. Subscribe to this very channel. We'll be part of this community yesterday. Seattle, Red Hawks, dominant. Now we're starting to get it. Okay, a couple, couple winners in a row here. Let's see if we can make it three straight. They were really, really good against Fairfield, pulled away in that second half, and we're going to straight run it back in just a couple seconds as I talk about that game. But we have some exciting news here. I'm not a big baseball guy, but the truth is baseball is a really good betting sport. The tools have had a ton of success last year with baseball, and we were super excited to be able to integrate all of it into our Odd Chopper tools and our Odd Chopper offerings. I got a lot of messages and it's appreciated. I love to hear it, even though uh, I had a lot of people say, I missed out on the March Madness promo. What are you doing for baseball? What are you doing for baseball? And we're not doing anything crazy, but we are opening it up for, on, between now and first pitch. Can't say it any simpler than that. So you have like a 36 hour window, 50% off of Odd Chopper your first week or your first month. You have to use the code play ball, all one word. It'll be in the link in the description. So if you did not get in, on that March Madness promo, this is your time. And you're going to get every sport from baseball, to college basketball, to NBA, whatever else is going on. It's a cool thing. Come check it out. 50% off. Again, it is worth it to see what you think. Now, let's get to a game here. Let's get to a play here. They said I'm running it back. I'm running it right back. Seattle. Let's go. They got high point. Same, same situation as yesterday, in my opinion. So I'll give you a lot of the same analysis I did yesterday. Apologies, but I think that is the way to do this. First of all, always shop the lines. We got Seattle, 22 and 14. Dismantled Fairfield yesterday. How did they do it? Because they have really, really good defense. They don't want to play fast. Their offense is okay, but they're really sound defensively. They are a top 10 unit in defending the three-point line. We saw that yesterday. They do well on the boards. They really had an advantage over Fairfield there. Just a good team. Grand Canyon's really, really good. And if it wasn't for Grand Canyon, Seattle might have been in the tournament. They have that type of of power. Now they're taking on high point. I think is a little more difficult to break down than Fairfield. Uh, maybe that's because I already saw one of the games. High points 27 and eight. They got past Arkansas state who I kind of liked in that game. I didn't end up betting it. I should have uh, yesterday. Super offense, horrendous defense will play fast. I do think this mirrors Fairfield in a lot of ways, offensively inclined, definitely can shoot. Definitely not good defensively. And they play into Seattle's strength. So you, you could say, again, well, it's the opposite, too. That high points offense can test the Seattle defense. That's a strength on strength matchup. That's what we had yesterday. I trust Seattle's defense more than I trust any of these other units. And I feel the same way here. It's a one and a half point spread at minus 105. We save a little vig. I like Seattle to continue rolling here. Uh, I say they get this done. It, it's been a cool team. They're, they're motivated. They're fundamentally sound. They will have enough offense. And again, they get a big boost too. We talk about the strength on strength matchup of Seattle's defense, particularly their three-point defense against high points, high octane offense. How about the fact that Seattle's offense, which is not great, gets to go against a high point defense that's outside the top 250 in a lot of metrics. Uh, this is not a good defensive unit for high point. You see a 151 and a half point total. That seems about right for me. Seattle won't mind to play a little faster. It's obviously a pace up spot for them. I will call for Seattle to get the job done. We've been good in this tournament. This is how we three straight days. We had Chicago State in this tournament. We had Seattle yesterday. And now let's try to make it three uh, with Seattle again today. My favorite bet of the day, Seattle. And then we'll turn the page to college basketball and some baseball tomorrow. There you have it, friends. Again, if you have any questions about this, this flash sale, or anything else about Odd Chopper, Jazz Raz DFS on Twitter. Of course, I'm in the Discord just to kind of bring this up so you get the picture, the pics, the Discord, the tools, all in one package. I'm there. Happy to answer questions. When you sign up for the 50% off week, make sure you get in Discord. That's included. No, no extra. You're just right in there. Really, really good stuff. And then the final thing for me, always like to tell the people about Bet365, 5 into 150, Arizona, Indiana, Iowa, North Carolina, New Jersey, Colorado, Louisiana, Ohio, Virginia, and Kentucky. I said your state. Go collect your 150 in bonus bets. If I didn't, you're like me, and you're not in a bet 365 state. You do have to be 21 plus 18 in Kentucky. If you have a gambling problem, call 100 Gambler. Have a great day, friends. It's not the biggest day, but there are there is value out there, including this game that is on the screen. And we're gonna try to cash this ticket and turn the page to Thursday for me, for Seattle, for High Point. Enjoy your Wednesday. Have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.